Hi guys, I'm using a snap on Veris and I'm gonna show you how to set up the scope or the oscilloscope when you do a CAN bus test. First you're gonna go to the scope gonna go to lab scope gonna go to bolt then here you're gonna select another channel And here you're gonna put five bolts five bolts now in the sweep time we want to get 200 microsecond You can take the filters out and the peak detect you don't need it there. Now I'm gonna use this guy here. As you can see that is a waveform simulator and the vehicle 2012 BMW 320 8i with a 3 liter and you can see here where I'm gonna connect my leads can high I'm gonna use the yellow trace can low I'm gonna use the green trace this here is my battery ground my three trays yellow green and black I want my my high here and I'm gonna turn hope you can see it here I got my scale and 10 volts I got my screen time at 200 microseconds I using two channels and this is uh, what the waveform should look like this is a picture perfect waveform in real life uh, it's gonna be something close but not that picture perfect I can give you an example how they look in a car that I fixed in a 2016 Jeep uh, Latitude That's what it looks like. So, you gotta go to your scope and set up a 10 volts or 5 volts screen time. 200 microseconds and connect it I using this guy 
connect it to number 6, CAN positive and CAN negative and the pin DLC connector 14 and 6 okay the 3 the number 3 and number 11 is a uh, CAN uh, high speed they calling uh, I H S so that is a uh, stand for interior high-speed cam and uh, I using this tool that is made by uh, aeswave.com you can get it there it's a very good tool you can connect your scanner one goes to the DLC OBD2 the other one goes to your scanner and you can see the the light flashing when when you got uh, cam communications and this little guy here it tells you uh, the power and the battery that's very important too and uh, that's what I use um, many people uh, gotta take the DLC connector and back probing that because you don't want to use the front you can open the terminals and then you create another problem so um, that's how you set up the scope to check your cam communication or bus cam when you have problems this is a, the way I set up my lease uh, the green trace and the green the yellow and the black the ground and you don't supposed to connect these two guys together because when you connect this guy here this guy is grounded so you don't have to connect those guys but that's what uh, my setup here here now I uh, what I did now that the, you got almost cover the whole screen is that I change my voltage as you can see there it's going to be 5 volts uh, it's my screen voltage here and uh, if I put it here you're going to see that I change before I got in 10 volts now I got in 5 volts so the waveform is a uh, is a uh, more detailing in 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 the waveform but you can play with your oscilloscope between five and ten and depending on the voltage and the battery that you have in the car too you can play with this but the screen time is got to be uh 200 if i change it other people like 500 microseconds let's see what 500 microseconds you see it's not too too detailing I like 200 microseconds I can see better details and the waveform okay guys thank you Okay guys, so this is a bad waveform compared to the other one that I show you. This is a bad one. How do I set the oscilloscope? There are five volts uh, and it's 200 microsecond the sweep time. To uh, check a waveform integrity, that's your setup in the oscilloscope. 5 volts and 200 microseconds. As you can see here, 
the waveform integrity compared to the one that I show you picture perfect with the waveform simulator uh, totally bad. This was in a 2016 Jeep that I was working on and after I fix the problem um, that I find a module that is was creating that I uh, how do you call this I uh, find the problem and did uh, waveform before with that waveform I cannot read the number I cannot check nothing at all in the car so uh, it was totally bad let me see if I find here the waveform that I got after I find the module that was creating actually it was two modules one it was the drivetrain and then other one was the the ABS module look at that signal there beautiful before what we get there is a nightmare and show you escape yes Auto detect VIN number. Before I cannot do that, guys. Check it out, guys. Chrysler, no, no, this is a Jeep. Look at that signal, guys. Beautiful. So that's uh, that Jeep there that I uh, fix, I uh, mean, Fix the cam communication. It was a 2016 Jeep with a cam uh, problem. Let Look me see. At that signal there. Beautiful. Before what we get there is a nightmare. Before it was that waveform that I showed you before. Okay. Now. Now you can read the VIN number. I And uh, that's why, uh, and uh, that's that was that Jeep before, okay. So, after I find the modules, they got problems, replace it. That's the communication that I got with the with the um. With the oscilloscope, checking the waveform, and using the OBD2. Here we go again. So, um, using this tool, using this tool, guys, can you get it from? AESWave.com It's not cheap. It's a $200 tool. Um, but it's easy to... When you got cam communication problem, we're facing this problem all the time now with new cars. We're facing that problem with the cam communication problem. The other section of this, uh, I want to show you how you measure resistance. Um, when, when, when you use a meter, so I'm gonna use a regular voltmeter to measure resistance and how you do it. 